One of the most important things, of course, is in selecting the indicator is to get the correct mounting. Once you've decided on that, you do have some choices. One feature when you go to, say, a full view indicator over a standard indicator is that you can vary the length. The flanged indicators have a fixed length face-to-face -face, where the full view indicators can be ordered in custom lengths. The first thing in selecting a sight flow indicator is to determine what the mounting might be and we have two main types industrial applications and sanitary applications. In the industrial applications we have a threaded model and we have a flange model and then those are broken down further into the two window style and a full view style. When you have the uh, product flowing through the indicator uh, you're able to use either a rotor or a drip tube or a flapper and even a gaseous flapper as different ways of helping you to see the flow of the product through the indicator. The main reasons for having a site flow indicator is to make sure that the product is flowing properly through the line. Sometimes it might be color that you're looking for or an amount of flow. When you're choosing the size for any of the different styles, you're looking at what the rest of the piping system consists of. Flanges come in inch dimensions. The threads are in standard NPT connections. And the sterols come in the various clamp sizes. Well, one of the most important things in making sure that a sight glass is compatible with your product is to select a materials such as the glass and the gaskets and the actual material that the sight glass is made out of to make sure it's compatible with your process. You always have to be careful in making this selection so that you get an indicator that will perform through a wide range of temperatures and pressures, will last a long time, will be compatible with your product, and give you whichever, whatever indication requirements you need. For instance, if you have a process that's highly corrosive, we can actually line these with uh, protective coatings. And this will increase the length of time in service, will reduce the maintenance time, and just make sure that you maintain safety throughout the process. When you get into high temperature, we may move from a borosilicate glass to quartz glass or, or even a sapphire glass. Also, other options in gaskets allow us to go to extreme temperature and again to corrosive prevention.